it's the household survey data which comes out with the GDP release that the government uh, releases every three months or so. So this piece of, piece of information is important because it's much broader. So when you think about retail sales, retail sales in terms of the original figure published by the government, it really only covers spending on goods, right? Which is where people used to spend their money. It was all about going out and buying like furniture or spending on cameras or iPhones or whatever else it might be. It was all spending on goods. Now, the, the household survey data is interesting and useful because in addition to focusing on goods, it also captures spending on services. Now, why does this matter? Why is this an important differentiation to make? Well, because there's a lot of data, other data suggests that spending on services is increasing as a percentage of the total. So that's actually shown by the household survey data. The annual, the, there's an annual number that the government publishes with the, the amount of spending on services relative to goods. That proportion is steadily rising over the course of the last few years, interrupted by COVID. There's also a second, a second set of data from the People's Bank of China which is a quarterly survey of depositors, urban depositors, they call it. And one of the things that that survey looks at is where people want to spend their money. Are they going to spend their money on goods, commodities, as they say, or is it going to be spent on services, tourism, entertainment, healthcare, and so on? And again, just like the household survey data published annually, this PBC survey also shows that there's an increase in the proportion of money being spent on services rather than goods. And actually, specifically, when you look at since COVID, a very sharp recovery in the amount of spending that's going on tourism and going on entertainment. So when we look at this consumer, this broader measure of consumption growth in China, actually that suggests, and again, after adjusting for prices, which is important when price inflation has come down, when you adjust for inflation, consumption, private consumption growth in China is now back to where the pre-COVID trend would have suggested. 